Ladies and gentlemen, this is my 2019, I guess you can say 2020, Range Rover Sport Autobiography Dynamic. And this is a real owner's review. The tires are smoking. <laughs> Let's do this. Right. Welcome to Driven Hard, where I am going to review my 2019, I picked this up in May of 2019, uh, Range Rover Sport Autobiography. And uh, this is not gonna be like the typical Range Rover re reviews. You see, this thing gets used. Don't worry, my paint should be okay. I say should, but it's all good because this thing gets used. This thing gets abused. Um, this is exactly why I purchased this vehicle. I love the outdoors. I love this, but most importantly, I love what that brand stands for. And I honestly can say the Range Rover Sport has been by far the absolute best vehicle I have ever, ever driven. So I'm going to run through a few of the things that I absolutely love about this. A few of the, the quirks, if you will, of the things that, eh, you know, I don't love about it. And um, hopefully, if you're on the fence on whether or not you're thinking of picking one of these up or as I lose my balance off uh, this uh, kind of dry riverbed I, I, I found here. If you're on the fence of picking one of these up uh, or you already got one, I'm just gonna offer a couple thoughts. So um, first things first, we are out. You can see it's a nice big dry riverbed in between the mountains. I was kind of hoping for a little bit of rain to kind of muck things up a little bit. Uh, as I just got some new tires for this thing. But all in all, the number one thing I love about it is the confidence and the ability to go pretty much anywhere that your tires will let you go. Um, this thing has got me in and out of situations that I just sometimes shake my head and say, how did it do it? We've all seen the Land Rover promotional videos and, uh, you know, how it performs under perfect circumstances. And I don't know if you're like me, but I absolutely hate uh, that Land Rover makes those videos. I think it's, it's BS because it's not real world testing. And I've been in some situations just now. Uh, you can see it's covered in dust, in, in sand. And I just kicked up all of that and I didn't have the camera running. Um, I was trying to climb over a, a little hill here and uh, you know, I just kind of floored it a little bit and it just, you could feel it distributing power to different wheels, spinning them. And it just clawed its way up and over the hill. I was scraping the belly of it. Um, but I was just like, wow. Because uh, I, I tried a couple times to get over that and uh, couldn't. But it ended up, the truck ended up finding a way by throwing around power. And the, the intelligence of the four-wheel drive system and of the electronics in general that control the drive system, the ABS, the stability control, the um, active rear diff, all of it has blown my mind. And uh, that is by far, I think, one of my favorite things I love about this thing. The second thing is the looks. I, I, I think this is a perfect, perfectly proportioned SUV. I think this is exactly what an SUV should look like. You know, would I uh, like slightly better approach and departure angles? Yes, I would. But with that, you know, the roof line, and uh, hopefully you can see it, see it right there. Everything about it, I just, I love the angles. I can't find a bad angle uh, to look at this thing. 
at. It's, it's just, it's absolutely wonderful. Um, yeah, just love it. Love it, you know? Uh, power, let's talk power. So this thing comes stock with 518 horsepower and uh, what, 460-ish torque? Now, this is tuned. Uh, it's a quick, easy 20 minute ECU tune, and this bumps it up well past the SVR um, to over 600 horsepower and bumps up the torque to, I believe it's like 540, but don't quote me on that. I'll try to throw the figures on the screen once I find them. The power that allows you to get in and out of traffic, you know, highway on ramps, I just love it. It's I call it kind of endless power. Um, those of you who live in mountainous regions, like I'm from Vancouver, British Columbia, so we have the Coquihalla. Those of you uh, who live in Colorado, some other, some other places where there's gonna be a ton of mountains, this thing eats up mountains like a speed bump. It's just, you put your foot down and it goes. I've been in situations, we're talking 180, 200 kilometers an hour. I'll put my foot down and still get pushed back in my seat. This thing moves. So highly recommend if you're picking this up, uh, hit up Velocity app and uh, they are the people who tune them. And uh, it's just a quick ECU tune. You can uh, flash it back if you're done at the end of your lease or whatever the case is. But uh, I absolutely love the power that this thing gives. Okay, the next thing is the driving position. And to talk about that, let's kind of go on the inside. And uh, Give me an idea here of what that's like. Hopefully, I don't get too much dust and sand inside. All right, so we'll go ahead and start it up, straighten her out, and the, the driving position. So, right now, I'm looking at a riverbed, but that Land Rover famous command command view driving position is something I have just come to love. Just being able to drive down the road, feel that you're that you're driving above everybody else. Um, the visibility is absolutely excellent in this vehicle. Absolutely excellent. So you have the car seats in there, storage, these little cubbies in here. Uh, we've got the double glove box. Um, do not order this with the CD player. I've never used that once. I never will because it's 2020. Who the hell listens to CDs? But the stupid dealership I ordered this from messed that up. Thank you, Langley. Um, storage galore. Some more storage down there. And uh, of course you got that. And uh, oh, what do we got down there? So a nice little fridge. The fridge is probably one of my favorite options as well. Now I picked this up back in May and you can see it had 24 kilometers when I purchased and we're sitting in March uh, 9th as I filmed this and we have just over 37,000 kilometers and it's less than a year old. Um, I drive this thing a ton. Um, I go off-roading you know once a week once minimum once every two weeks and um, it just gets driven by myself, by my wife, and uh, we use it, we abuse it, and we absolutely love it. Uh, you can see currently I'm just sitting in auto here. Um, earlier I was playing around in sand. I'll uh, link up my Instagram so you can kind of check out some of those additional videos. But uh, it is the autobiography, so it is completely fully loaded. We've got this beautiful, absolutely beautiful two-tone leather here. And uh, we got the 22-way heated and cooled. So you can, for the ventilated seats or heated seats, um, or we also got the massaging feature. And uh, if you've never had massaging seats before, you have all those different options. Um, they are absolutely phenomenal, especially my wife just absolutely loves these things. So. Um, definitely tick that option box um, 
you know when you're when you're customizing this let's talk infotainment for a second um, hey it's a Land Rover product so I expect glitches and that's exactly what you're gonna get not a ton though um, I did a earlier video on my Instagram about how to get through any sort of internal glitch that you have but I love this thing nine times out of ten it works perfectly for me and um, you know it's a little it's a little delayed but that's okay you're not gonna notice it as long as you don't go and play around with Porsches or um, BMWs or Audis as long as you don't go look at any of theirs you're not gonna know what you're missing but um, yeah no this is a great little system here absolutely love it any glitches that I have had um, you know things come up if you do a quick uh, power cycle so you're running into the corner store you, you start it drive to the store stop it drive back or jump back in and start it up you might have a glitch there's 30 odd computers ECUs inside of this vehicle they all have to work in sync and uh, if one's not working in sync it starts spurring things off all you do power down get out lock it let all the computers reset for about five minutes get back in all the glitches are going to be gone so um pretty pretty simple there now another little thing that I've really come to come to love and once again don't worry about the paint uh, I was driving through some of these bushes over over here and you know they're scratching up against the the dust and all the sand so it's not actually gonna be doing too too much damage here um, but uh, it's all good it's all good because you know what this was meant to be driven this was meant to be driven hard and uh, that shit can get buffed right out so who the, who the hell cares see this plastic plastic thing right here what's great about that is no matter how muddy you get the exterior when you are like you know I got my kids in here or not in here right now but when I'm loading the kids in and the car the trucks a little muddy you can bang up against this or the kids can slide out slide out of that and they don't get muddy because that stays relatively it's a little dusty it gets dusty but uh, it's not going to get caked in mud or anything like that so just little things like that that they do to help make your day-to-day -day life a little easier oh, that is pretty dusty there huh all right so if we come and take a look at the trunk I don't actually have to kick it, but uh, you can see it's an SUV. It has a big ass trunk. Um, you can raise and lower the suspension here. I'm not going to because I don't know how much ground clearance. Oh yeah, look at that. I'm pretty much touching there. Huh? So I'm not going to lower the suspension, but right here you can raise and lower the suspension to make getting in and out of this a little easier. 60, 40 splitting, uh, 60, 40 splitting rear seats and uh, full-size spare underneath here for um, obvious reasons all right so all right so let's talk about some of the things that I don't like about it and I will have five things I love five things I hate um, about the Range Rover in a completely separate video but some of the things off the top of my head that I don't like about it is it's a Range Rover and what I mean by that is this thing looks absolutely stunning when it's clean uh, absolutely stunning especially in this Forenzi red it just looks freaking gorgeous but it is so fun to take off-road that getting it dirty is probably even more fun than keeping it clean. But what I'm gonna do after this, I'm gonna take it straight through the car wash, get it all cleaned up again. But you wanna get it dirty, you wanna keep it clean, and it's just, I find it's a constant battle back and forth. Another thing is because, and maybe it's just me, I'm a car guy, I love taking care of my things. Um, any little ding or anything, you're, you're gonna notice it. You're gonna notice it. Um, I've got only a, you know one or two little dings, but I notice it. it drives me absolutely crazy every time you know I walk by that part of the car. But um, I, 
can't think of too many things that I actually really do hate about it. Um, besides the CD player that's inside of it, I hate that. It's just a complete waste of space. And um, apparently you have to, you, you, you don't check that option, but then make sure the dealer tells the factory when they're building it, do not put a CD player in there because they just put them in anyways. At least the dealership that I got this one from. So yeah. Anyways, hey, if you have any other questions, if you have ideas for video you want to see here on the channel, just look at look at the articulation on that on that back wheel, huh? Isn't this sick? If you got ideas for videos you want to see on the channel, please let me know. I will do whatever I can. I was trying to find a way to, to climb this, but I, I couldn't find a way up. So, you know. Oh, 21 inch rims, don't get them. Get 22s or 20s because they have more off-roading sizes uh, in 22s, if you can believe it. They actually have a couple all-terrain tires um, in 22s um, and a ton in 20s, but not in the 21s. Um, so that was that's definitely something I'm never gonna order again. Um, but hey, you know, lesson learned, but uh, Hey everybody, thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you want to see some more crazy shenanigans with the Driven Hard Range Rover and uh, whatever else I can get my hands on. Till next time, make sure you drive hard.